Good evening and welcome in, dear, beautiful, awesome people. For close to a decade now, we have been bringing to you, for you, a variety of summits. With this, the training summit in particular, we have officially crossed the half decade mark. And it is my joy, my pride, and my absolute privilege to welcome you on behalf of Team Mystic Lotus to season six of the Mystic Lotus and Dragonflies Awesome Healers Training Summit. You are here for a reason. Whether it is to add to your existing skill set as a practitioner or as a seeker of knowledge and information, or even what is this all about? Let me see. Irrespective of any of these reasons, there is one that is common to all, which you have consciously, unconsciously, subconsciously acknowledged or accepted or are in two minds about healing for self, because that is where it all starts, and to contribute to, well, to begin with our immediate loved ones, family and friends, and then move more and more outwards. And there is people, you've come to the right place for that. 14 experts bringing for you an entire range of possibilities from Akashic Records, Inner Child Healing System, and Siddhi Vinayak Reiki, to BNC Miracle Method, Tarot and Switch Words, from Losho Numerology, Astrology and Mediumship, to Reiki, Light Healing Frequencies, and Theta Healing. You will meet the OGs, the founders, the experts, the masters, what have you. And let's not forget live calls and replays, learning interactions on the Telegram group, demonstrations, certified courses, offers like never before, and more, lots more. Which, by the way, more, lots more, is a decree. And yes, that is our first call today. All about the decree. What is that? You'll find out soon. Who is bringing it to us? Well, where do I begin about her? It's a little tough, but I'll try my best. She is lover of all things simple, easy, and quick. She is owner and sharer of the world's quickest language of light in English, comprising of just one, two, three, and four words known as the decrees. And there is nothing faster than this in the world, as you too will experience on the call. That's right, on the call. They are so easy to use and remember that you will leave knowing this revolutionary technology. You will leave as you will leave the call, knowing this revolutionary technology and be able to use it from today itself. All the decrees are adaptable to any situation and can be used anytime, anywhere, everywhere, even in the loop. And this fact is established because I do too. Use it anywhere and everywhere, especially in the loop. <laughs> it's probably one of the youngest and latest modalities in the world. The decrees are only five years old, but thousands of people across the globe have experienced Experience the joy of using them, and there are more than 300 decree practitioners today. Between today and the next two calls with her, you will wait for this. It's an action packed week. You will experience and know the world's fastest light language in English. You will receive the meaning of healing and the important distinction between it and manifestation. Know how to use the universal formula for healing. Mm -hmm. Yes, it exists. And the most important healing principle to start applying immediately. You will also know how to make a wish so that it has the maximum chance of coming true. Understand what a family light doctor is and why it is imperative in your two kids if you are serious about healing yourself, your family and others. Make high vibration healing water for yourself and your family in two minutes. 
get the 10 second process to come into grounding and balance. Learn the one minute light prayer for yourself and your family. And then come for the training where you can share and charge for it also. Hello. <laughs> Develop an innate understanding of the 10 secret family dynamics that are currently impacting your health, wealth, and relationships, and what to do about them for your and your client's best death future. Grasp the rules of family and forgiveness, especially with your mother and father. This is uh, crucial as forgiveness when done incorrectly with parents backfires. Get more than 50 degrees, including adaptation. Know the karmic reason you were born into your family based on the five tenets of karma. Realize who you really are. Get amazed by the wisdom of Sanskrit matras or vowel sounds. Finally, know why are our mothers the way they are. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this incredible work that works in seconds and your incredible opportunity to be a decree practitioner too. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for and join me in giving a warm Mystic Lotus welcome to Retrograde Specialist, Moon Worker, owner and share of Word Medicine here with B, a family light doctor in two minutes, the OG, the goat with the blue streak, the one and only Beyond Compare, Nidhu B. Kapoor. Hi, Nidhu. Welcome in. Thank you so much, Nilu. Thank you. Hi and hi, everybody. I appreciate so much that you've made the time to be here. And before we begin, because we are on a training summit, we will just do a one minute Guru Mantra. Before the Guru Mantra, we will also make sure that we are completely emptying ourselves of whatever has been going on in the day so far or even yesterday. So I want you to close your eyes and I want you to imagine a brown bag, this brown bag can be as big, paper bag, cloth bag, as big as you want, because into this bag, we're going to be putting in our judgments. We're going to be putting in our struggles. We're going to be putting in our expectations. We're going to be putting in our ignorance. We're going to be putting in our stress. And we're going to be putting in whatever has happened in the last 24 hours. Basically, this bag is going to make sure that you are beginning on a clean slate. See these energies rushing into this bag. It will be rushing in from your belly, your chest, your shoulders, your neck, your head, and see it going in. Just see it going in. As soon as you have a sense of completion, you will take a string, you will tie this paper bag, and then being mindful of where your window is and where the sun is, you're going to see it flung out of the window towards wherever the sun is shining in your place right now. The sacred fire of the sun will take care of whatever it is that you have let go of. Take 30 seconds to complete. And then please put your palms together in Namaskara Mudra for the, for, the, for the Guru Mantra. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo, Ishvara, Guru Saksha, Parabrahma. That's my Sri Guru To me, Chamata, to me, Chapita, to me, Chabandu, Saka to me, 
गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरुवे Keep your eyes closed. You are going to receive a light prayer. At this point, you will not hear me speak the words. You will just receive it. And in order to receive it three times, just please say, "Receiving, receiving, receiving." whenever you have a sense of completion very gently open your eyes cup your palms over your eyes feel the warmth of your palms entering your eyes one inhale and one exhale here please and bring your palms down Please have some water. I um I almost feel like you know after a prayer how you ring the bell like in a temple you ring the I almost feel like there should be a bell here for me to just do that. <laughs> done ask and you shall receive as we have received received receiving 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 received and i'm going to just uh, before we get on i can see meeta had her hand up meeta if you have any questions please post them in the telegram group the link to join is on the zoom chat at nidu you you just uh, you said i'm going to give i'm going to do this uh, prayer but you won't hear me so is there uh, is there a reason why why you didn't say it out loud <laughs> you are going to know what this prayer is but you will know what this prayer is on thursday in fact in fact how did you feel did you feel anything at all did something show up for you in this barely one minute of the light prayer uh there was i there was a I I sometimes have emotional responses to any kind of prayer so yeah there was a there was a lump a uh, slight lump in my throat yes and uh, Vaishali says yes I felt a tap on the head Radha says I felt a lot more lighter thank you Super. and this are uh, these are the responses that have come in right now and uh, and people are also still joining the group as well so that action is also going on on the side so Nidhu let's get going with this you already said there's something that we're going to get to know about on thursday but for today all right nidu this is this is season 6 right of the uh, training summit you're here with the uh, b the b a family light doctor in 2 minutes so and 6 is all about family so right. coinc- coincidence much or what is going on <laughs> <laughs> or divine planning or divine planning yes I, I yeah that's the one that is the one it's all it's all divine planning so tell us what is be a family light uh, doctor is I mean the only family doctor uh, I have seen growing up is doctor do little and he he was talking to the animals so <laughs> what is going to be happening here <laughs> it's not a bad reference neelu it's not a bad reference but you know like an allopath knows allopathy a homeopath knows homeopathy an empath knows empathy a sociopath knows sociopathy a swimmer knows swimming a 
and a runner knows running like that. To know what a family life doctor is, you have to know family and you have to know light. But even before you get to know both of them, because we're on the Mystic Lotus Awesome Healers Training Summit, we have to start at something even more fundamental, which is what is healing? What is healing to you? What do you think healing means? Tell us. Tell us, people. We're waiting for you to give in your feedback uh, on the group. And Nadu will respond uh, to whatever you mentioned. And while we wait for that to happen, it's uh, so Gabriel says becoming whole is healing. I was going to say something, but the post, but the the messages are coming in. So let me just get that out for you. Shweta says releasing our emotions. Uh, Vali Valiappan says free from all sins. Swarna says leaving your pain. Deepa says feeling light. Yogita says healing means balance of life and awareness says 917. Divya says healing means feeling free. Nikita says healing is a process being able to be okay or happy with whoever we are. And Mani Megalai says relaxing mind and soul. Anamika says healing is coming back home to yourself, to your wholeness and your innate nature. Shweta says feeling good and happy and whole in your skin. Savarna says acceptance. Nitika says, healing means connecting with the universe. Shiny says, healing means to be light and free. Vinita says, restoring health and well-being. Rudra Prasad says, healing of all trauma, which is in your mind, uh, not affecting your emotion. Dipti says, healing makes you at peace. Naya says, brings relief. Somia says, healing yourself physically, mentally, and emotionally. Kamayani, it's pouring in Nadu. Kamayani says, healing is acceptance of yourself as you are. Vaishali says, healing is letting go of what doesn't serve us anymore. Sonia says, being one with the higher self, being free. Vaishali says, feeling complete. Anjali says, unconditional love and belief. It's pouring in. Healing means to become happy, says Kuntal. Atar says, I, have, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Heal in Latin means to become whole. And Rashmi says, to overcome or consciously change it for your comfort. Milo says, healing means ultimate wellness. And Nidhi, all posts, all questions, all feedback on the Telegram group, please. Thank you. Yes. Of course. You are all right. There is something so basic about healing. Because healing is not about getting what you want. Healing is always the healing of a wound. It is the stopping the bleeding of a wound. It is the bandaging of a wound. It is the re-bandaging of the wound. It is the taking medicine for the wound. It is the resting out of the wound. It is the recovery from the wound. It is the ultimate regrowth, assimilation, and integration within us of the wound so that even if there is a scar, we don't even notice it. In the last decade, healing has started becoming synonymous with things we would like to manifest. Let there be a very clear distinction between the two. Healing is a right brain activity. It uses intelligences beyond the intellect. Manifestation always has a sense of systems, processes, logic. It's a left brain process. All manifestation is a desire for a result in the future. All healing is a healing of the bleeding going on right now. And this confusion, right, between this healing and manifestation shows up maximum with money where I want to manifest the money in the future and then bring it back to bandage what's going on here. Like escort in, a, in the middle of a full-blown anxiety attack. She was like, somehow I have saved money. 
to do this session with you. Please give me decrees urgently to get this person to call me. Sure, can you tell me just a little bit more? I've been texting this person. I've been emailing this person. He was taking my call sometime back. Now there's no response at all. I have to hear from this person. Does this person have to give you something? Yeah, he owes me money. I have to pay for my mother's treatments. My, son, my brother's education bills are pending. Please give me the degree. Please give me the degree. Why do you have to take care of it? Where is your father? Her father crossed over two years back. So have you taken time to grieve? Have you even noticed he's gone? She's like, I don't have time for all this, you know, from day one, I've had to take over. I've had to, I've had to double my shifts at work so that I could keep bringing in the money. And now look at this person. He knows what I'm going through and he's not calling me. What is the decree for this person? Tell me, my lovelies, what is the wound? For her? What, what is, is the wound, the wound for her? It's loss and not processing that loss. It is the loss of her father and the burden and the stress she is under to make sure that she fits into her father's shoes. What is she asking me for? Tell me how this person is going to call because if this person calls, then I can get my money. We began the session. Some decrease, some crime. Within 20 minutes, from this state, she was, it's okay. It's actually not so bad. We'll manage. In the 25th minute, I have some shares I can sell. I just remember I have some shares I can sell. I can sell. We were healing. We manifested. Does this mean her journey is over? No. As we heal, we will manifest a better life. As we manifest a better life, what has to be healed will show up. We heal, we manifest. We heal, we manifest more. We heal more, we manifest more. Wherever we begin, both will start taking place. You cannot only keep doing manifestation without paying attention to healing. You cannot keep doing only healing without at some point thinking, hey, I want to try my hand at manifesting something. Both are interdependent. Both give rise to the other. And more about this as we go on. And oh, just by the way, did she, did S manage or not manage? Managed. Is S going to continue her healing journey? Yes. That was just the start. Keeping in mind that there is a very interdependent relationship between healing and manifesting, what I really want you to remember right now is that all healing is a healing of wounds. Tell me you have understood this by saying understood exclamation mark. By the way, I sometimes see this whole thing around manifestation with children and jobs as well. Where child from the unknown timeline in the future will repair what is going on here. Job in the unknown timeline of the future will take care of what's going on at work. But on the healing journey, your focus and attention must begin with the wound. And having said that, because I have no doubt Everybody has said understood with an exclamation yes. mark. Yes. Please yes. tell me, my lovelies, who or what is wounding you right now? So, neither do people need to write that down? No. Or no. no, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Don't write it in the group. Write it in your notebook. Terrible paper. Terrible paper, yeah. 
Okay. I may ask you to throw this paper. I get loose paper handy on me. Everything yeah. will be on loose yeah. paper only now. Yeah. Loose paper is best, and then you make your fair copy the next day. That's ideally how you would learn and study. Go ahead, my lovelies. Please write this down. And if it's more than one person, please, by all means, write everybody's name. Now. We're only writing name, Madhu, or we're also writing what the wound. Yeah, is. we're also writing that. So who or okay. what is wounding you right now? And you could say money, you could say pain, you could say unwellness. It could be someone, it could be something. Are you going to give us a timer to stop, or are we just going to keep it? <laughs> <laughs> Ten more seconds. Okay, so done. Shweta and Tavarna said the list is going on. Uh, uh, Shweta says list is going on. Tavarna says mine too. And Mehul, you've written it in. No worries. Uh, no worries. No worries. Write it on paper just in case we do end up, uh, if Nedu tells us to tear it and throw it, because there is a reason for that. Also, as in when it happens. Write it on paper also. Done. And 10 seconds is also done. <laughs> so, pens down. Although you can come back to keep writing it. And I'm going to say two sentences of three words thrice. Meaning, I'm going to say a particular sentence thrice, and then I'm going to say another sentence thrice. Always, when we begin our work, we have to say cheers, and we have to make sure that we are hydrated. Now, do this very quickly uh, in case you want to do this now or you bring it up later. Because, uh, you know, the, the older ones have, we, we've done our yes, 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 and all that. But the newer ones have no idea what high vibration, so which our healing True. water is. True. So, we'll do it. We'll do it. Soon. Okay. Okay. And we'll do, we'll do a really simple, simpler one. It's always very simple. As you will see, my lovelies, even though, even if you're new, to word medicine, light medicine, the language of light, the decrees, you will see how easy it is. And then even though there is an existing way to make high vibration water, we're gonna do one which is even easier. And it's an absolute sweetheart of a process. And Neelu smiling because she knows what it is. I will come back to that. Let me do just these six sentences, I just want you to respond, see how you're doing. Once those six sentences are over, I will ask you to do cheers with me again. And then I will ask you to change your position and we will do the six again. Yes? Ready? Yes. Okay. Neelu will also put down what it is I'm saying because for a moment it might stun you is that what you're saying? Yes, that is what I would be saying. Here goes. Releasing my mother's wounds. Releasing my mother's wounds. Releasing my mother's wounds. Releasing my father's wounds. Releasing my father's wounds, releasing my father's wounds. Have some water. 
Cheers, everybody. Please change your position. You can stand, you can walk, you can lie down. Uh, exclamation, I didn't put the exclamation in, I'll write it in again. Please, yes. yes. Exclamation mark, yeah. So, uh, exclamation after the releasing, right? After wounds. After wounds. Right. Next round. Releasing my mother's wounds. This time, say it with me or whisper it. Releasing my mother's wounds. Releasing my mother's wounds. Releasing my father's wounds. Releasing my father's wounds. Releasing my father's wounds. Give it five seconds. If you lay down, it was very temporary. I'm going to have to ask you to turn to one side and come up because you're going to have another sip of water. And either you can be in this new position or you can change your position again. But let it be different from how it was two minutes back. And this round, slight difference. We are going to say, and only three times, releasing my family's wounds. Releasing my family's wounds. Releasing my family's wounds. Give it five seconds. Inhale through your nose. Hold your breath for 30 seconds. And exhale through the mouth. And take a look at what you wrote down on that sheet. Tell me, how are you looking at it now? How are you feeling about this now? What is this bringing up in you now? Right. I went off video because I also stood up and moved. <laughs> Good. Okay. So people are writing. Uh, Anubhav has written a bit of the distance from the wound. Uh, Shweta says lighter, easy, uh, easier, easier, easier. Namata says, still it is affecting. Pravina says, so still it is affecting means it's still bothering her. Yeah. Is what I've got. So yeah. Pravina says, qualities of, uh, of my parents in it. Shweta says, memories hurt and hurt movement. Shweta, again, Shweta Goel says, easier. Alina says, as if they are not existing. So Varna says, nothing has changed for me. So what, is, what should Varna do, Nidhu? Should she move? Should she change position? Yes. But we'll do it one more round. We'll do one okay. more round. Okay. We'll do one more round. Nikita says lighter and feels it's not bothering. Mani Meghalaya says feeling easier. Soumya also says couldn't feel any change. Vaishali says lighter. Malvika says she has a headache. Samina says still feeling bad memories. And Suvana says memories come back. Yogita has said, and this is interesting, solvable. Fantastic. And Anamika says, somehow a thought popped in my mind that I'm learning love through abandonment by my family. Rashmi says, the decree were exact answer to wounds I wrote on paper. Fantastic. Sureka says, no change. Uh, NS says, I'm feeling sorry for the other person. <laughs> Naira says, not that big a deal now. Kamaini also says, no change for me. Anamika is more centered. Mingu says, no change. And it's pouring in the do. Dipti says, unknown sense of calmness and feeling of vibration inside me. Shweta says, but it gave me tingling in left thumb and body all of a sudden. Manpreet also says, no change. Sonia says, I'm hearing there's healing. Good. And Anjali also says, not actually such a big thing. Viva says, no change. Fatima, no change. Vishali says, just a bit black. And Bell, Bell also says, Bell, Bell says, no change. And Gitanjali says, distance from the wound, like really far away. Pile says, feeling all our, our problem, which I have to face. 
Fantastic. No so, change palpita palpitation for Ashwanta. Drink water, right? Anybody, please, yes. If you're having pain as a response, you must dog up. You must finish a full glass of water, sipping it through, don't gulp. And then wherever this is going on, whichever body part is responding, if it's unbearable, you will just touch that body part and let us say it is the head. You will just say it's releasing. You will touch it and just say it's releasing, it's releasing, it's releasing. And you see what happens. Either the release will become even faster or it will suddenly disappear. Let us do one more round, especially for those of y'all who are really new to word light medicine. Cheers, everybody, again. Be comfortable. Slight change from what we did in our first set. Very slight change. I'm but very sorry, Nidu. Sorry, I missed these. No, no, so Megala no. says she's now confused. Amita says feeling light. Sandhya says feeling light, yawning. I'm blessed with abundance already. I missed these. Just three. Sorry. Fantastic. So even if it's confusion, you will just say it's releasing. Whatever is coming up, you'll just say it's releasing. This next one, very slight, very slight adaptation. It will be releasing my mother's woundings. Our first one was releasing my mother's wounds. And this one is releasing my mother's woundings. So six times, three with the mother, three with the father. Quickly, we will change position. And then we will do it with the family's woundings. Ready? Hydrated? Let's get cracking. Releasing my mother's woundings. Releasing my mother's woundings. Releasing my mother's woundings. Releasing my mother's woundings. Releasing my father's woundings. Releasing my father's woundings, releasing my father's woundings. Stand up, stretch, walk, put your legs out, change your position, and releasing my family's woundings, releasing my family's woundings, releasing my family's woundings. Come back, sit down, have a sip of water. Take a look at your list, although for some of y'all, you don't have to look at your list anymore. Just tell me how you're doing. And those of y'all who have to take a look at your list, take a look at your list. Tell me how it is now. So Shweta says, Suvarna says, a little light. Shweta says, it's okay. They might have had issues too. Anubhav says, the wound is healing. Belly says, heavy head. Ashwanta says, feeling better. Heavy head? So just, just touch your head and say, it's releasing. And please make sure you sip through a glass of water. Go ahead, Neelu. Kujbu says, relation will improve. GOV says, yawning. Anamika says, feeling better towards my family, but still feeling frustrated with my relatives. Poonam says, feeling neutral. Amita says, feeling good. Wound is healing. Sandhya says, more yawning. Uh, Namrata says, feeling lighter, as I felt so heavy earlier. The so had a bunch so of work. Well. Right. Uh, GOV is yawning. And Samaya says, feeling better. No more aggression inside. Calm mind. Shweta says, I feel heavy, heavy in my heart. Sorry. Dipti says, this is something amazing. Megala says, feeling lighter as if a black smoke left from my heart. Super. Super. Anything, that like confusion, frustration, heaviness, pain, just it's releasing, it's releasing, it's releasing because it is. If it's come up, it's on its way out. Don't hold it there and make a story. Let it go, let it go, let it go. We have not taken a look at your list, right? I do not know your list. I think just I think one or two people I think shared it on the group. Nobody knows your list. We gave a very generic set of sentences 
And for the most part, there have been shifts. Feeling lighter, maybe even feeling heavier, but there's a shift. Whether the needle goes this way or this way, at least it's not stuck anymore. That something is happening in this challenge, crisis, situation, trouble, problem, issue. Something is moving and that's the important thing. However, what did we really do? I haven't even brought you up right now. We did mother and father and family and things started moving. And this has to do with the universal formula that has to be applied to all healing at some point. For example, if you're doing a system like, what shall we say? Chronic, maybe you won't apply it there. But at some point, this universal formula for healing will need to be applied. Especially if you've been doing quite a bit of this work, but not really seeing as many changes as other people. Especially if you know you're dealing with a lot at multiple levels. Especially if you know you've got stuff going on at home. And the universal formula for this is A, B, C, mother plus father equals child. My mother plus my father equals me. Your mother plus your father equals you. Can cat plus dog equal fish? <laughs> cat plus dog can only equal cat dog or dog cat. Can negativity plus negativity equal positivity? No. Negativity plus negativity will equal more negativity. Can financially stressed plus insecure equal millionaire? Financially stressed plus insecure will equal more financially stressed plus insecure because of the use of the plus you're adding. Meaning things are becoming bigger. Things are becoming more. Can unhappy plus unhealthy equal good enough? Can judgment plus criticism equal happy healthy? And positive plus positive equal positive. For sure. Can some positive and some negative equal only positive? It will equal positive plus negative. Whatever you are adding, it will join. Can man plus horse equal penguin? No, it will equal centaur. Would you like me to share that screen, Madhu? Uh, no, not yet. Not. No. Because uh, mother, uh, you know, like mother plus father is child. And, uh, my mother my plus my father is, is me. Yeah. And your mother plus your father is you. And I'm like, I have to put that, I have to put that. <laughs> <laughs> and the point of this formula is for you to recognize that when you made that list, and we didn't clear that list. We do not know anything that's on the list. Even the people who got to share it on the group, we didn't address that at all. We went straight for the mother and the father. And the family. And the family. And there were shifts, there were movements, including solvable, healable, distance, absent, feeling sorry for them, I think somebody said. <laughs> yeah. Such a change, right? Such an immediate shift a lot of us moved to a higher vibration. Some of us said, no change. Don't worry at all. Now tell me, what do you think is missing in the world? What do you think needs changing in the world? 
what do you think you should do in the world? And okay, so and now we, sorry. Yeah, yes, no, 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 go ahead. Okay. So I, suddenly there is a post, uh, file says knee pain, setting, fever, chronic illness showed up, black something leave, left. This, she, this suddenly just came in right now, so I said, let me just bring it to your uh, attention. And then Amika says, feels like you're saying everything I need to hear right now. Awesome. That is true. You know what? I, I think from the beginning, I've been telling Nidhu, I'm her patient zero. And for some reason, every... <laughs> 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 I am. I, I, I'm patient zero. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that's how everybody feels, that their patient zero. <laughs> I just okay, want to so, confirm. So, does this mean that file is okay? Uh, so, file, please let us know because when yeah. you put something like knee pain, sweating, fever, chronic illness showing up, then it does leave us, uh, you know, we, it leaves us concerned for your well being. So, let us know you're okay. All right. And so, Nidhu, you had asked, what do you think is missing from the world right now? Dipti says, What does the world okay. need right now? What's the biggest thing, according to you, the world needs right now? And you can have a full list again. This share on the group. Yeah. Dipti says peace. Uh, Ruta says acceptance. Suvarna says empathy. Anamika says what's missing is acceptance and authenticity. And Megla says understanding communication. Amita says peace. Vishali says uh, spread more love. Shani says peace and happiness. Shraddha says kindness. Vinny says, okay, Vinny says she's really perspiring. For a moment, I thought... <laughs> this perspiration missing from the <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Vinny. I that, that was a genuine <laughs> uh, slip uh, of like words getting processed in my head right now. Uh, Vinny, please have water. Let us know how you're feeling. Samya says finding life's purpose. Namrata says love. Rashmi says empathy, compassion. Reva says kindness. Yogita says understanding, courage, love. Mani Megalai says do service to those who are helpless. Vishali says healing, Reva says love, self-awareness, healing, this inclusion of diversity, says Savarna. So acceptance, love, peace, education, awareness, kindness, empathy, humanity, sensitivity, honesty, these are, this, this is the theme that's kind of coming through. Take a step back, put your hands on your hands down. Whatever you have put as the answer, please check. Do you have a lot of it in your family or is it missing from your family? Oh my God. Listen, I know you haven't told me, but can I just like aha on the group? Because this is an aha moment. <laughs> We're going to come to aha. Just take a look. What you've put over there isn't it missing from your family? Can't your family do with more of it? Take a moment, absorb what just took place. Isn't this what you need from your family? Everything that you've mentioned? Isn't the opposite of this, your wounding? Mm. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> Tell me the answer. So, Milo says, what's missing is sensitivity. What they need is kindness and make it oh i'm sorry the so here and anubha says this is so real mantri says yes dipti says oh my god it's really a light bulb moment and pile says self-acceptance and self-love will solve this problem anamika says they need acceptance and compassion too while i was demanding it from them awesome karan says yes lots of yes and chata says haha not enough of all those i mentioned yes Missing good stuff world means. So I may also say, yes, it's missing from my family and the world. You're going to write to let me know that this is clear and understood. 
aha a h a exclamation mark please remember my lovelies what is the first thing you understood all healing is a healing of wounds and now very slowly receiving the understanding that all healing is a healing of family wounds it's all about the family if it wasn't for the family jharna garg a housewife in america would have no career her entire life on stage is her mother her father her husband her children her mother in law her daughter came up to her and said i'm dating this white guy and after the initial me out me 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 she said okay fine but don't post on instagram the daughter said why she said because if you do your grandmother will see it and she'll die wait post it <laughs> And another like her, Sindhu V. You know what? Somebody just mentioned her name on the group. Sindhu. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sindhu V. What would she do on stage? Everything is either how she's winning battles with her husband or her children. That is it. Right. There's nothing else to it. Would Karan Johar be the kingmaker and the most powerful man in Bollywood? if it wasn't for his for his family films look at his latest rocky or rani husband wife husband's family wife's family his biggest blockbusters have been when they have been he's had other blockbusters as well like student of the year but his biggest blockbusters are always the one where it's family it's all about the family is his thing all, right? for him he likes to say it's all about loving the family that's not what we are saying we are going to be saying something else but it is all about the family do you know one of the secret formulas to cricketing god sachin tendulkar's success his brother absolutely his brother biggest fan and manager believed in him from the start took over handling everything so that sachin could just play cricket who would you be if your family fully supported you oh my god i'm going to start you, crying now <laughs> encouraged you had your back who would you be what would you do would you even be on this call take a look at your life and for everybody whose list was running wrong, long tell me isn't it because there's so many things going on in the family what is it you want most in the world my lovelies you just want your family to support you whatever is going on we can bring it back to family anxiety anxiety is i'm all alone my family has abandoned me grief i've lost my family anger my family is not giving me what i need guilt i am not fulfilling my family expectations why do some of us obsessively chase money because we don't have enriched and enriching families we are poor and starving at home so we hope that somewhere else at least we can be rich why are some of us obsessively obsessed with changing the government or telling the government what to do because there are family politics at home why are some of us always picking fights with somebody or the other some proving of rightness wrongness is always taking place because we have battles at home we are not winning you tell me what you're dealing with and i will tell you who your family is because remember in the formula my lovelies the plus 
every generation expands, expresses, exhibits more and louder. You, if you have children, they're definitely talking more to you than you have spoken to your parents. You have definitely spoken more to your parents than your parents have spoken to their parents. Their parents, I don't know, in my country, chances are they never spoke. True. Every generation expresses louder. Every generation speaks more. But here's the thing that is also very unique to families. Families have this tendency to focus on what is your weakness, what you can't do, what you're not good at, and completely ignore what you are good at. You should learn to paint walls and fix taps. Uh, I have a gold medal in literature. Ab of absolutely no consideration at all. Because, and here's the, here's the crucial part as well, my brothers, because once upon a time in the wild, weaknesses were how we got killed. Are you living in the wild? The, the survival of the fittest syndrome that has gone down, 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 down the ages through DNA, DNA, DNA. True. Are your parents living in the wild? <laughs> were your grandparents living in the wild? Maybe semi-wild by then, at that time, but uh, great-grandparents maybe, but not our grandparents onwards. So what in the name of dear God is going on with this? And what is going on with this, my lovelies? is that thousands and thousands of years ago, in your family, in your lineage, one song was composed and one dance was choreographed. And then the button was pressed. And after that, every generation is singing and dancing this song and dance. This song and dance has become the family and anthem. <laughs> also true. This song and dance is now your Autobot. No brain. Just playing on. Just going on. No solution in sight. No place where we can click on six photographs to say we are humans. We don't need to have this application with us anymore. This autobotness of the families, unless we acknowledge this formula, the fact that whatever was missing in the world, meaning our families are our world, because nobody, my lovelies, knows everything from the tip of North America to the bottom of Australia or from the tip of Russia to the bottom of South America. Nobody, and yet we know what's missing in the world because our family is our world. And if we don't recognize the Autobots in the family, then we will also be part of the Autobots. Please raise your glasses, cheers, and see what happens as I say this. Nidhu, Nidhu, very quickly, sorry, before you do, I just want to tell you the last few minutes that you've been talking, uh, comments have been pouring into the group. All I wanted to do was, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh -huh. just because that's how I, <laughs> and a, a lot of people have posted, uh, like, there's, there's been quite a few comments in. I'll hold that. And I also wanted to ask you something, but I will wait for uh, whatever you're going to say right now first. See what happens in these nine sentences, all adaptations of the first one, which is releasing my mother's Autobots, releasing my mother's Autobots, say it with me, releasing my mother's Autobots, releasing my father's Autobots, releasing my father's Autobots, releasing my father's Autobots, say these three with me. Releasing my family's Autobots. Releasing my family's Autobots. Releasing my family's 
Autobots, please hydrate. And for one more time, take a look at your list. And while they're, while they're doing that, Nidhu, the two things, uh, A, I definitely wanted to get you up to speed with what everybody's saying, but uh, while you've been talking and, uh, you know, all healing is healing of family wounds, it's, it's all about the family, as in the healing of the family wounds, because our family is our world. And uh, there's, there's a story, I think, here in, in our country, at least, uh, everybody who's grown up reading our Chitrakatha for sure, and if not, other stuff also is the story about Lord Ganesha and his brother, uh, Lord Kartikya. And it was about th this, uh, uh, this prize, which I think was a mango. Uh, a mango and uh, whoever would have, whoever takes three laps of the world the fastest uh, would get it. Because Parvati Ma wanted to divide it between two of them. But I think the stage Kashyap, I think it was, said, no, no, whoever does this, the fastest. So Lord Kartikya gets onto his uh, vessel and zips peacock. off. A peacock, a peacock, right? And uh, Lord Ganesha, he just he takes three rounds of his parents, Lord uh, Shivji and uh, Parvati Ma, and he won it because th th this is it, right? This is it. This is, this it. is it. This is it. Because he said that my world is my family. He said that. Correct. So people, I mean, the gods have said it and who are we to deny the fact? <laughs> the, <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> the gods have also said a lot of things that are scientific and in order to make them clear to the layman, they were presented as stories because the fact yeah. is that half my DNA is my mother and half is my father. So mother DNA plus father DNA equals me DNA. Your mother DNA plus your father DNA equals your DNA. And because there is nothing else to you, your DNA is your vibration, which is why we can end up marrying one parent and becoming the other. By that, I don't mean that you're marrying, it's in, that you're marrying your own mother and father. You marry somebody similar to your parent and then you become the other parent. My goodness. However, there are some rules that govern this. I'm going to come to that. You see, there are 10 secret family dynamics and a couple of which I've already shared. But in that, there is this fascinating way in which DNA works and in which DNA plays out. But Neelu, you said there were some comments as well. Tell yes. me those comments because, yeah, go ahead. And then I will so, tell you what, yeah. There are two sets. One is, uh, so I'm going to give you a few that were happening when you were when you were talking about all this earlier. And there was, uh, Rava said, Jhansi ki Rani for sure with, uh, okay. Uh, biggest issue is my family doesn't understand me. said, Anamika, Samya says, Yes, only because of my sister is babysitting my baby. Now I can attend this precious call. This is when you were talking about if we didn't have family that supported us, where, you know, and Richa says, I'm blessed in terms of family on both sides. Pyle said, it's hard to hear the truth about you on the spot. And I want to interrupt there. Okay. It's just the thing, my lovelies. Now, there's a song and dance, right? This Autobot working on autopilot and the song and dance. But you are not that song and dance. You are the, because you're on this call and you've been on this journey for a while. You are the awareness of the song and dance. That's who you really are. It is playing out because you didn't know there was an autobot. You did not know the family autobot had taken over, but you are really the awareness of the song and dance. And as you understand what family is, what light is, what light medicine is, you will see that as you keep reaching into your own eternal light, which is the awareness, this 
Autobot is going to start coming into your consciousness. Autobot means it's on autopilot. Nothing you can do. That button got pressed thousands and thousands of years ago. But you will start being in charge of the next set of programs. Already, my lovelies, if you had written down a family member or a family situation in your list, isn't it already looking a little better? Haven't you already changed some of the tunes in this song? Haven't you already changed one minor flick, jazz hand, in this dance? Haven't you already done it? That's how easy it is. But you must keep in mind, all healing is a healing of wounds. All healing is a healing of family wounds. Who are you? You are the awareness of the wounds. You are the one who is going to bring the healing in. That is how you will move on to become a family light doctor. Nice, nice. So and this is so cool, yeah, Nidhu. It, it is so cool. I just want to know how this is possible and like get into the action of it immediately. Also, very quickly, in case anybody has seen the chat, so <coughs> I put put in the <laughs> degree, and it is also corrected. It is releasing my mother's <laughs> auto boots, <laughs> 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 and I <laughs> and father's auto boots and family's auto boots, and I, I didn't realize. <laughs> Then I'm, I'm you you know you were talking about autobots and you're and I'm looking at the word and you say why am I seeing boots and I realized that it auto it auto corrected so I I re reposted it it's over also there. an autobot right and yeah. which is why my lovely because of this autobot right <laughs> self sabotage takes place every time you want to go something holds you back or you yourself in your own way of thinking will find a way to sabotage it often. When I ask somebody, so what's in the way? They will say, me, myself. But who are you? The awareness. And mother plus father equals me. How are you holding yourself back? And yet, right, it takes a little bit of time to recognize the formula and the application of the formula. But I am going to give you one more round because I have as yet to hear how it made you feel to say, releasing my family's Autobots, releasing my mother's Autobots, releasing my father's Autobots. Before you tell me that, or maybe you already told me that, and Nilu is going to come up with it, I want you to close your eyes, everybody. Now, this particular set is a breath set. You will just be aware of what's happening with your breath. I will say it and your breath will start being the responder. First responder, as they say in, in quite a bit of American and em UK. emergency medical responses. Your, your breath is going to be showing you what's happening. So everybody, eyes closed. Please keep your feet uncrossed. Keep your palms open. Be very comfortable. Have back support. My mother exhales her wounds. My mother breathes out her wounds. See how your breath is immediately responding. My father exhales his wounds. My father breathes out his wounds. My mother exhales stress. My mother breathes out stress.
My father exhales stress. My father breathes out stress. My family exhales stress. My family breathes out stress. Take your time, allow the breath to normalize. And once it's done, please have a sip of water. I didn't ask you to breathe. I didn't give a cosmic command for your breath. I gave it for your mother. I gave it for your father. And yet, each of y'all would have had a change in breath. Did you all notice it? Could you see what was happening? And the slight difference when I was saying my mother exhales and when my father exhales, could you sense the difference? Why? How did this happen? I, I don't even know your name. I haven't even addressed you as you yet. I'm only doing mother and father. How are you receiving, responding? So Shweta says, my mother's and father's said breathing was normal, but for family set, I had to really take a very deep breath. Malvika says uh, she's feeling so calm. Vishali says I'm crying with mother kind of froze, but father started crying. Slower so breath with family, heavy breath with break. Pyle says feeling relaxed and calm. Namrata, uh, Anamika says lots of sighs and deep uh, breath. Then... Namta also says, oh God, does Adi set magical? Yes, they are. Uh, yeah, yes, very they much. are. Very right. much. Magical, and miraculous. Yeah, absolutely. And super fast. Super fast. And by the way, Nidu, by the way, with the blue streak and all, uh, just in case uh, you've forgotten, let me remind you, that blue streak also means super fast. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? Did I catch you off guard for what? You did, you did it. <laughs> and what a thing you told me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, and people are uh, people, uh, still writing in. Savati says, how does that work? I was the only one to get a divorce in a couple of generations. So um, you've, you've understood the question, right? It's okay. Yeah, I've understood. Let me answer this yeah. question. Okay, so here's the thing. When I said every generation expresses louder and every generation exhibits more, you also express your family's dreams louder. Me too. I am the only person on both sides of my khandan to be divorced, to be financially independent, to be leading my own life. But are these my desires? Or did we have parents and grandparents who wanted to break free from whatever it is that the marriage was doing? And when I saw how my grandfathers and grandmothers were living, I guarantee they wanted to break free. So when you exhibit louder, you're also exhibiting their desires you're also exhibiting their hidden negativities. You're also exhibiting their hidden traumas. Everything becomes louder. And that's the incredible part because you see, if it wasn't so loud, your awareness wouldn't catch it. The louder it gets, the easier it is to see, oh, that this is where we need the bandaging and the dressing. So, are you okay in being divorced? Are you okay in how life is working out? I will also mention here 
and especially right culturally in our country our sense of duty is very very inbred in us so it's not like we have loving families but we have very duty bound families which means that our parents grandparents great grandparents and so on and so forth could have been highly incompatible but highly functional together right divorce was not an option first of all that choice was not given but this right this incompatibility while staying together and being highly functional also gives rise to the next generation wanting to break free right right whatever is your situation there is a family story attached to it and i will come to this really fascinating maths when it comes to your dna but neelu go ahead you were going to say something you know this uh, just just uh, people who who written in continuously this shata says i went blank on all of it suvarna says i felt their pain uh, bella says uh, visualize a barren tree and anamika says feeling so centered and less of brain fog pravina says mother has more wounds and stress father has wounds but less stress family has less stress i, I, I it's fascinating uh, to see the awareness that is being expressed over here right, right. sonia says short fast and breath samina says with mother and father okay with family feel very heavy rashmi is crying and was exhaling by a mouth consciously like relief and ak says difficulty breathing both time gitanjali says i'm feeling relieved wow this is awesome today's session is a blessing miraculous amita says i was taking deep breaths and feeling very good sandhya says uh she was yawning more and more and is still yawning superb excellent head Please. hurting a lot for vasudha so water. water cheers breathing was very calm feeling relaxed says fatima nikita yeah. says somewhere could feel pain in my chest when it was first said hope and relief but upper back pain says vasudha devi says world needs a uh, really lot of people like you nadu thank you thank you it's releasing whatever showing up you will just just touch that body part and just say it's releasing you can also clap 36 times over that body part and i will come back to more such clearings we're going to be doing a gigantic amount on thursday people but you got to have your basics correct today because then when we put it together and be and become the family life doctor it will all make even more sense right now from the four s's of sorrow i want you to choose whatever it is that you are going through or your family is going through the four s's of sorrow are stress struggle stuckness suffering you choose what it is and this time you do it six times for the mother and eight times for the father what will you do so let us say that you chose the word stress which is one of the words we just did in the breath work so let us say you choose the word stress you will say releasing my mother's stress and you'll do it six times and then you will do releasing my father's stress eight times you must stay hydrated throughout but go ahead my lovelies it won't take more than a minute they do just a moment uh, i was expecting this to uh, i was expecting this question to come up and it did uh, so nikita shweta i uh, have both written all four and one reaction is is also this all four <laughs> i understand so how to what is in that case take the word sorrow what are the four s's uh, anubhav uh, Sorrow, struggle, stress. No, not sorrow. Sorry, uh, stress. struggle, stress, and it and toughness, toughness, suffering, suffering. And if you notice, my lovelies, all of these four S's of sorrow are also ways in which you know how blocked your karma is, or how tight your karma is, or how negative your karma. 
take a look. Go ahead. We will maintain one minute of silence as all of us does this in our own space. Whenever you're done, please let us, let Nilu know on the group what you did, what's the word you used, and how are you feeling now? How did it make you feel to say it? Please remember my lovelies. If something's coming up, we're just going to touch that body part and say, it's releasing, it's releasing. We'll just clap over it 36 times. And you will definitely hydrate. All pain carries deep amounts of dehydration, heaviness, pain, stuckness. And take your time, my lovelies. Take your time. A few questions that come in. Uh, yeah. So AK has written uh, suffering word caused breathlessness. Namrata says, can I know please why these four words only? And yeah, Shweta says, stress, don't feel anything. Then try with another word. Or, but you chose stress, so do it with stress. Yeah, if you chose stress, you do it with stress. It's okay if you didn't feel anything. But also and, if you're mm -hmm. suffering from numbness in the body. Right. Tamina says, tell to sad for family, tears rolling down. So Amir's asked, can we use husband instead of mother and father? Yes. And I'm smiling because... Yes. Because, uh, you know, in the, you and the mother and the father and the yeah. family, obviously the husband there. is a part, but I, I smile because I figured that you will come to that also Correct. at some Correct. point. Go ahead. Right. Go ahead. Say husband. No problem. Vasudha says, I said all four. In this situation, you would choose sorrow. You choose sorrow then, right? Yeah, you choose sorrow. Just take sorrow because it's the four essence of sorrow. Okay. And to answer the person who said, how, why these four? Because these four cover every situation in your life. They mm. also impact each other. If you're stuck, there will be struggle. There will be stress. There will be suffering. But anything that you have going on in your life, they will fall in one of these categories. So Easily they, fall in one of these categories, yeah. So does that also mean, that? Do, I mean, does that therefore mean that uh, all wounds are these categories? So all wounds will carry these, especially stress. Stress is part of everything. It is part of pain. It is part of illness. It is part of disease. It is part of blockages. It is part of everything. And because there is stress, then we get stuck in the stress. Then we struggle to get out of the stress. Then we suffer because we don't know the light at the end of the tunnel. But it is there. Shining it is bright. There. Kyle says, I'm crying a lot, can't stop. Sonia burped a lot. Pravina says, I continue with family too, as I felt like continuing. Rashmi says, this time I felt nothing, indifferent. Mantri says, struggle, feeling emotional. Namrata says, how many times for the family? Because you mentioned six times for mother, eight times for father. Did you mention family or did I miss it? I did. You but didn't mention family, right? I did. But it's okay. Yeah. Family is 12 okay. times. Family right. and businesses, corporations, 12 times. 12 times. Okay. And Rashmi is asked why father is 8 times more than mother. Because it is Lord Saturn's number and he is the most masculine. Not that Mars is not masculine. Not that Jupiter does not have masculinity. But Saturn is the most masculine authority. He's the most he's the, he's the biggest masculine authority. And his number well, also the Lord of Karma and according to the tenets of Karma, understanding who you are is also part of your explanation. Absolutely. We're going to come to the five tenets of Karma because you see, when you see the five tenets of Karma, you will see that the five tenets of Karma are actually the five stages of learning. We'll come to the five stages of Karma because one day after Ishani Jayanti, it is his birthday. This uh, month, 
Thursday or Saturday? New moon. Oh, it's on Thursday. Oh, it's on Thursday. Okay. Yeah. New moon. And this month, he goes retrograde, which means karma is in our face. And this time around, karma is being looked at through the family because it's happening in the month of June. And as the month of six, it is all about the home. You may be, you may be having to shift your house. You may be wanting to shift your house. You may be wanting a bigger house. You'll feel it that much more. You may want to decorate your house. And what is house, my love? Is? It's family. And six as a number is all about the family. So this combination of karma showing up with family. And, and you will have noticed in the last couple of weeks, even three weeks for some of y'all, things within the family are coming to a head. Like families really getting on your nerves. Like your last nerve. Or second last nerve. Like things within the family seem to be escalating. Have you noticed this? Have any of you all noticed? Uh, yes. In fact, uh, much as most of my stuff is invariably around the family, but yes, there's, there's, been, um, there's been a sudden extra influx. If yeah. it's possible to use both words yeah. together. It is. So, yeah. yeah. Right. And that's him. That's him saying, hey, this is where karma completion is going to take place this time around. And that is also why in our work of light family doctor, doctor family, light, light doctor family, they're all interchangeable. Our focus is, is getting to enlightened DNA, where we are moving from the Autobot system to the enlightened DNA. That is the journey we're going to be taking. Because in all of this, my lovelies, look at how much you're expressing. Is it your suffering? I remember I was a teenager when my paternal grandfather crossed over. and My mother was telling me the news. She didn't cry. And at that point, neither did I. But just a short while later, as the tears came and I started crying, I had the sense these aren't just my tears. These are also my mother's tears, but she's not crying. And I had a sense of my grandmother frozen in fear because we are so dependent on our men for our livelihoods, for food on the table, for the bread in the house. That's them. And I felt her paralysis of fear and how therefore these were also her tears. And often, often after that, my sense is these are not just my tears. That somewhere, something else is happening over here. Sometimes I have a sense that they are even the tears of strangers. Sometimes I have a sense that this much pressure, there is no way this is not coming from somewhere else as well. And invariably, where will it come from, my lovelies? Please tell me, who are you connected to in the world? You are connected via your DNA. Blood is thicker than water. Can you have a soul tribe? More certainly. Can you have a soul tribe family? More certainly. But your family will always show up and win. Why? Because the Autobot is still playing in you. So this move, right, from this, from, from doing the song and dance, to the awareness of the song and dance, to the releasing, clearing, cleaning, shutting down of the song and dance, and then incorporation of new song and dance. That's the journey we're going to go on till end of August. And again, right? We're going to meet again on Thursday. Lots more is going to happen there, there again, but I have to introduce you to this DNA maths. So here's the thing, my lovers. Firstborns will follow their father's Autobots more. Every firstborn, please see, you have a very unique relationship with your father. Whatever it might be, it might be fraught with tension, it might be fraught with yearning, it might be fraught with love. Well, fraught with love is incorrect. It may be filled with love. Whatever it is, 
the intensity of your relationship with your father feels much more than the intensity of the relationship with your mother. Just check for yourself right now. Second borns, younger borns, youngest borns will have more of this with their mother. Meaning they will follow their mother's Autobots more. So S2 called and she had hip pain. First thing I asked is, who in your family has this? She's the youngest. So I said, does your mother have a hip problem? She said, no, not like this. But my father was immobile, meaning his hip wouldn't move at all. And this is the second part of the maths. And there's a third part to the maths. I asked her, is your father a second born? She said, yes. In the first born following the father and the second born onwards following the mother more and more and more, the youngest will follow the Autobots more of the mother. Not that you won't follow the father's Autobots, but you will follow the Autobots of the mother more. Meaning, whatever is going on with your mother, physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, spiritually, sexually, will also happen with you plus or minus a few years. Whenever your mother had a child plus or minus just a few years, you will have yours. Whenever your father had that child, whatever it was his age, plus or minus a few years, you will have yours. But the hierarchy of the parent with the child takes precedence. So a second born father will have a greater relationship with the second born child, even though naturally the first born child has a deeper connection with the father. Just as a younger born child can have a deeper connection with the second born father, a First born child can have a deeper connection with the first born mother. The hierarchy of where you are placed will tell you which parents' DNA you have to work more on. If you know you have to work more on your father's DNA and your father, whatever, your father has high blood pressure, you know you're going to have to take care of that. Little, if, sorry, a yeah. few questions because they're coming up with what you just mentioned. Yeah. So Savitri, had, uh, somebody, I think it was Savitri said, uh, I'm the seventh born. That's why I smiled while you were talking. I said, I'm going to wait to bring it up. So seventh born, so as you said, after second is more and more for the, towards the mother. Yeah, okay. more and more. The youngest okay. born follows the maximum autobots from the mother, which is, by the way, I just want to say this as well. Younger bonds are always more good looking. You're the seventh bond. You're the most handsome. Right. They and because their beauty is a function as much of strength as it is of softer, more feminine features. And as, as a mother keeps giving birth, her powering and empowering the child becomes more and more. Therefore, the last born always, always looks more good. Very rarely is this, have I seen the opposite, but the younger bonds are always more beautiful. And not that first bonds may not be beautiful or attractive, but younger bonds even more so. Savitri's also asked, what about single children? And so has Ganesh. What about a single child family, which is the case with most families now? And what about middle child? And also, uh, Malvika has written, Nidhu, I remember you saying this switches after we reach 30 years of age. Yeah. Okay. See, that, see that's the next part of the maths. There is a reversal in the order. And not after 30 years of age. After 30 years of age, your crown chakra is fully open. And that's when you must begin your healing journey. 
by the time you have had perimenopause and menopause, the shift becomes the opposite. So for example, in, as a firstborn, in the first before perim and menopause, my autobots would have been more mother. But after perim, my autobots will be more father. And more, again, right? You're not going to grasp this maths immediately, but it will slowly start sinking in. Middle bonds. Now, middle bonds, you got to check on. First of all, you got to check the hierarchy. Is, is either parent middle bond? Then immediately, that is the autobot they will follow. But otherwise, for middle bond as well, little more of the mother. First born children, father, even if you have a single child. The father's role in the first born is very important because you see, inherently, first bonds prefer freedom and independence because that is a very, that is a more masculine trait. It is a more father, hunter, gatherer trait. In general, the feminine is the feeder, breeder, stay at home, keep my brood together, let me be taking care of the house energy. Therefore, a father's role in the first bond is a little different than in the second bond. And a mother's role from the second bond is different from her role in the first bond. Now, nobody told our parents this. And we as parents don't know this. But that is also why, even though you're born to the same parents, in the same house, in the same city, in the same surrounding neighbors, you can have two very opposite siblings. And these two siblings can have two very opposite lives. But more on that, right, as we go on. And just by the way, my lovelies, I just want to give you all a heads up. We are meeting again on Thursday. We're going to do much more of this on Thursday. Yes. But our training begins on Saturday. So training right. begins this week itself. And not that but we are not training right now. Yeah, I was just going to say that. <laughs> Technically, you already started the training. <laughs> we have already begun the training. But going towards your certification, your, your own work, your own sharings with your family and your clients, that will officially begin on Saturday. And Nidhu, uh, so many questions coming in. Oh, with my mom and dad are both firstborn. I am second youngest. So if mom is firstborn, dad is thirdborn, I am firstborn, then what is the math? What if we've never met our father, also third generation? So uh, I, I will give this to you again individually. I'm just saying that because I'm sitting and listening to the math from you. And I'm first born, second mom. For, for, then after that, father, first born, the mother first. Then I'm saying, no, no, listen, I, I need pen and paper and yes. I need to write this down. You need pen and paper. I need to write, I, I, I can't figure this out in my Absolutely. head like this. I'm, I'm really mind bothered. <laughs> and then you'll go to bed with only, with only this math and you will forget everything else. What else, my lovelies? So, Do you okay. need to know all healing is? About the family, wounds. All healing is a healing of wounds. All healing is a healing of family wounds. Now, there's another part to this, which we will not do today. But all healing is a healing of family wounds. Family is everything. Family is our world. We are not the Autobot of the family. We are the awareness of the Autobots of the family. Even while we are expressing the song and dance, we are the awareness of the expression of song and dance. Right. Please give me an aha before anything else. Aha. aha. Okay. And, and, and wait, wait, aha, take on me. <laughs> and everybody who has loved the music of the 80s will know that reference. Right. And the questions are still pouring in, Nidhu. And I'm just, please let me know if you want me to, because I'm, I'm looking at it and it's become a mental math concern for me yeah. now. So I want to shut my eyes immediately. So right. I'm, I'm no, a mental math and I don't do very yeah. well. So, okay. For example, Sonia has written, mother is second born of six, father is third born of six, I am second born. Calm down. On yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, okay. And this is this is rare, right? Because in what's the simplest thing to understand? Second part, mother. So first of all, why are you telling me about the father? Right now, leave father aside. You are second born. Look at the mother. Your mother is also second born. My God, as it is, so you will have ninety eight percent of her autobots, meaning her mental, physical, emotional, spiritual. financial auto bots you will carry that much more it's but at the same time you will also have a you could also have a very special relationship with her now you see what happens for a first born mother with a second born child but the mother is first born the mother will start behaving with the child like she did with her siblings let us say that you are that you are in fact the fourth born and your mother is first born your mother will start replaying with you what was going on between her and her siblings meaning are you even her child she is only going to be because you see autobot my love please please remember an autobot means it is pre programmed it has no brain of its own as a first born with siblings we have a certain relationship with our siblings when we have children the second third fourth born onwards we start repeating the same program as with our siblings is this fourth born as much our child or our sibling if you have a problem as a fourth fifth born with a first born mother i guarantee you she has trouble with her siblings so is this really my problem with my mother or is this my mother's problem with her siblings it's my mother's problem with her siblings what about me please let's take time off to grieve what about me? but again right who are you my lovelies you are not the expression of this song and dance you are the awareness of the expression of this song and dance therefore your light is going to shine very differently in your family than the current autobot light which is in any case shining this music is playing this souffle stop rising thousands of years ago even though we do our best to try and make it rise because have you noticed this other thing within families my lovelies we want to prove them wrong but we keep proving them right no matter what we do when a family has decided no this is a daydreamer this is a cry baby this is an achiever iska to kuch nahi ho sakta hai meaning nothing is ever going to work for this person we will spend our whole lives trying to prove them wrong while proving them right do you know why from whatever you've understood so far explain this to me why does this happen i will come to your maths my lovelies and when we do the program we are definitely doing this maths right because there are there are a lot of math questions on the group right now we will do it's great fun but you will need your sheet of paper and pen and first of all before you've gone into this maths you have to understand the universal formula you have to you have to absorb it you have to do your whatever whatever is going on with you right now somebody had brought up frustration somebody had brought up confusion somebody had brought up heaviness okay? everybody put your pens aside put your questions aside whatever is coming up right now pain nervousness exhaustion headache confusion because now maths so most of us are in a tizzy cannot park the car at all what will what will you say whatever it is no identify what it is let us say it is confusion it's releasing it's releasing is one but here's another here's the next adaptation because every decree has an adaptation the way that you will continue to keep working and using with it you're going to say releasing it for my mother releasing it for my mother 
releasing it for my mother, releasing it for my father, releasing it for my father, releasing it for my father. Those of y'all who are second born onwards, you can just do three times with your mother and check. Those of y'all who are first born, just do three times with your father and check how you're feeling. And now tell me that response. Can you feel the shift immediately like something's already happening? We've not even said, I'm confused. I've got all of this going on. There's so much. We are not even saying that. We have just identified what it is. And we said, releasing for my father. Releasing for my mother. And check. I think people are still, uh, they're, they're taking a moment to write in. Just with the previous, that, you know, what do you think? So Anjali has written now so many things about my mother's behavior are becoming clear. Yogita says family wounding. And Vasudha said we are loyal towards them. That is why. Which is, This is the, the, the question to the, uh, this is the answer to the why question that you had put in earlier. We are what and, to them? We are? We are loyal towards them. That is why. Right. And uh, Ganesh, until what time is the, uh, it's, going to, it's, it's going on, asking about how long it's going to, it is, we're on, we're going to be on for a while. There are replays, Short please while. don't worry. Short while. And, and we'll, take, we'll take a quick break for five minutes and come back. Uh, but right. let, us, let us finish this round of conversation. I didn't so, realize it was fun. Shweta has asked, uh, yeah. no, we, we're, we're in good time, Nadu. We're actually in good time, so don't worry. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Shweta says, both parents are middle born and I am first born. What do I release for both? For both? <laughs> if you're first born, remember the first maths. Father. First born father. Beyond that, mother. If, right. if everything beyond that is confusing right now, let it be. Correct. The first time you are exposed to an algorithm, you are not getting it. Even Michael Phelps, didn't start swimming the first day he was put in the pool. Although he did start swimming by the time he was seven, won his first national medal by the time he was 10. But even he on his first day did not swim. So everybody, ease up and calm down. 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 And calm down. We are together longer. We're together till the end of August. And Shiny has said, kindly share it in PDF for better understanding the family tree. So, uh, in fact, I would like to tell uh, Shiny that, hang on, you're going to get to know exactly how to figure this out and you'll get the details for it. So, and Rashmi says, I'm feeling a bit irritated. Rashmi, are you feeling irritated saying the decree or is the mass irritating you? <laughs> releasing for my father. Irritated. No, I'm irritated. Releasing for my father. Releasing for my mother. Just see and see how it makes you feel. Yeah, that's really, me, that's me said math. <laughs> the math. Okay, math. Yeah, but, but even then, right? And again, yeah. one, of your father, yeah, one of your family members does not enjoy it. It's in your DNA. Right. There is nothing going on in your life that is not already in your DNA, which is why your DNA is your vibration. And all of these things, right? This loyalty, this loyalty is because the messaging imprinting, autoboting is already in the DNA. Your DNA yeah. is how your hair is the way it is. Your DNA is why the color of your eyes are the way they are. Your DNA is why you are on two feet standing and in the human body. Your DNA is governing and deciding everything. And all of this is contained in your DNA. Right? Which is why, right? So if the family has decided ki aap motorbike pe nahi ja sakte, then whatever you have done behind their back, whatever you've not, not done, first of all, then there's so much guilt, the fear of being caught, all of that is there. But you will never fully be able to embrace being on a motorbike. Because the program in your DNA says, don't put on the motorbike. Bad things happen on motorbikes. So don't send your children on the motorbike. Because remember my love days. Things happened in the wild. Thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago and this Autobot system came. And in whatever way we still understand the wild, whatever, the world is a wild place. 
the world is not safe for me. Who is this world we've understood? Meaning the family is not a safe place. Right? Don't send girls out. There is a religion that does not allow women to show even a sliver of skin on their wrist. But are we still living in the desert? Autobot, continuing. Devi's asked, Nadu, is it awareness of mother qualities and father qualities? Is awareness of mother qualities and father qualities enough to heal and be a better version and not repeat negative patterns? Is it enough, the awareness? You don't have to be aware of your mother and father qualities. You have to be aware of your own. And when you see your hierarchy, you will know where they're coming from. So this is not about you being the chosen one because your parents were also the chosen one and their parents were also the chosen one. Every generation that includes your parents, every generation expresses louder, exhibits more. You are right. not other than your parents. And in fact, that's where we have to do some work with forgiveness. This mistake, right? You are not going to take a look at the parents and say, and say, you know what? You're the problem. You're to blame. You're the one who's insisting on wearing black. It's not like that. You are the awareness of the song and dance. You're not the judge, jury, and executioner. You are not the healer or the savior. But you will make your DNA upgraded and enlightened, which means that your family will immediately benefit, but the ones who will benefit the maximum are your forthcoming generations. It takes only one person in the family to have a distant family member sense the freedom of making or doing something different. And Karan's asked, if the healing happens after 30 years when the crown chakra opens, then does it mean my child will suffer till 30 because of my issues he absorbed in the first seven years? I want so much to give you a different answer. The moment your child is born, he has his own coming. We have children so that they can express louder. We don't have children so that we can control what happens to them. What we cannot bear is born out of us. Meaning, if you could not bear your fears, your child will carry them for you. If you could not bear your anger, your child will carry them for you. Healing journeys cannot begin before 30 because healing journeys require your crown chakra to be in place. And please catch my other call, also on the Mystic Lotus Summit, called the, the Love Chakra Hidden in Plain Sight. It will tell you everything you need to know about the healing. Well, not everything, but that's because half of that is on another call. But take a look at that. And what I will say to you is that whatever you are feeling, guilt, regret, that your child will carry this, don't make it such a big deal. I know what my child has gone through and I know who he is today and I know how his life is working out. As a parent, you have the power to change it for him or her. Your child doesn't have to suffer, but will there be some amount of suffering because of what happened between zero to seven? Minimally. So S3, most parents call to tell me, can you ask my child to study? Can you speak to my child? Can you give me a decree for my child to study? It's quite popular, especially right, because of our country and this emphasis on academic excellence. When S3 called for his son, and his son was not only not studying, his son was acting out. His son was getting violent. His son was talking back to the teachers. His son raised his hand on somebody in class, class four. And that's when S called. What, can, what is to be done? I said, how are you handling it? Well, he has to be shouted at. 
he has to be punished. But have you made the situation better? Did he get better? When did this punishment begin? Two years back. Has your child gotten better or worse? What is your child expressing? And, and, is your DNA, no? You've gone through this. What is the problem? Did you fail at school? Yes, twice. Because now, full projection, right? Same thing, my lovelies. I will manifest the money in the future, then I will bring it back to bandage whatever is going on. I will get a child, this child will fix and repair what is going on right now. I will get a job, this job will heal my wounding. It cannot work like that. If you take a look at what your story is, you will notice that your fear for your child is also not from you. It is from your parent to you. The maths of DNA of life is precise to the last decimal point of the pie. It is so precise. I even guarantee you that in about the same time, the same month, the same season is when you will be repeating the same story as your parents and their parents and their parents. It is astounding, the maths of this. So are you the one now collapsing because of what you're seeing your son go through or are you the awareness of the collapse of what your parents went through that you fear your child is going to go through. And that's also maths, by the way. You're being a doctor, my lovelies. Sit down with your books. You will go back and listen to this call replay. You will make your notes. You will come back with questions tomorrow on the group. You will understand what this is. Because this isn't about the, please give me those decrees. Can you give me some decrees to get that person to call me right now? This is not about that. This is about you becoming a practitioner, a trainer. And even if you don't want to be, this is just you enjoying the understanding of how to work with your family and your DNA for whatever the, whoever that generation is. You may never have a child, but your presence doing this and changing DNA will start changing it everywhere else because DNA is your vibration. Meaning, okay, when you are happy, you don't want to be with somebody who's miserable. And when you are miserable, you definitely don't want to be with someone who's happy. Right? Like attracts like. We want to be happy with those we can continue to be happy with. We want to be miserable with those we can continue to be miserable with, right? Misery loves company and so does happiness. When it comes to DNA, because that is the kind of vibe you're giving out, you are only going to attract what's in your DNA. But because DNA is the first line of relationship, the changes in everybody's DNA in your family will begin. I have one more, I have actually some more maths, but I think I will spare that. I will spare all that today and try and make it a little simpler with this figure. By the way, Shiny, so sorry, there is no PDF. There will be notes like that, but there is no PDF and there is no family tree. You just have to understand the principle of what this is. And once you've understood the principle, you will see, ah, I need to work on this. My God, it didn't cross my mind that I had to take a look at knee pain. That I would have to do the work to make sure the knee pain gene doesn't open. Because remember my lovelies, releasing, clearing, cleaning, shutting down new habits. Because you see, whatever you are doing today, you have learned whether you have learned to be positive, whether you have learned to be negative, whether you have learned to crib, whether you have learned to judge, whether you have learned to cook with both hands, one hand, spoons, whether you have learned to use chopsticks, not use chopsticks, everything you have learned from your family. If your family sent you away in time, you will learn lots of other things from other worlds as well. But primarily, 
You have learned this. You have learned fear from your family. You have learned anger from your family. And they have learned it from their family. So on and so forth and backwards. Therefore, as you, as you unlearn or you recognize that I need to watch out for these things, like one of the scary things in my family is between my parents and my grandparents, every terrible thing under the sun has been covered. Now that's scary, right? if you're going to take a look at that. But what we're going to be doing is taking a look at that, releasing it, cleaning it, clearing it, shutting it down, and learning a new habit. Because whatever is going on in your lives right now, Take a look at your crisis and your challenge. Tell me, my lovelies. Awareness. Honesty. Tell me, do you know the habit that is supporting this? Because you have a habit that is supporting it. Yes, everything is family. Family is our world. Family is pay. Family is most important. Family is biggest. But you too are behaving Autobot. Who's going to change that? No healing is going to come and put food in your mouth. You have to put food in your own mouth. Therefore, the last part of this, most intense part of this, is taking a look at the habits we have and changing them. Something you are doing right now that is supporting your sorrow. You know what it is. Do you know what it is? You may not want to acknowledge what it is, but you know what it is. That habit has to change my love is, which is why, you know, there are many, there are quite a few terms for the work we're doing today. Family light healer, DNA illuminator, habit transformer, light worker. There are quite a bit of words under being a family light doctor and all of them you will see written in your certificate. But very quickly, let me show you a very quick diagram. Get your sense of one round of, see your first round of maths is clear. First born, father. Second born onwards, mother. And don't overthink anything right now. Don't get hung up on it for now, correct? Right. Uh, put that on. Yes, please. Yeah. Triangle. Yeah. Give me yeah. the triangle. Yeah, just a moment. In fact, leave the triangle on. I promised everybody we would have a few minutes break and we would return. Leave the triangle on. Okay. And everybody, you know, take five minutes. Powder your noses. Come back. Right. And Nidhi, you, you can see it fully, right? Because yeah. the, for me, yeah. the top half is a little cut. But you, you're seeing it completely? Okay, great. I got it. It's very clear. Five minutes, my lovelies. Uh, Nilu, please mention time and tell us five minutes later, what will it be? Yes, it is 8.35, so we will meet at 8.40. And I'm, you know, I will come back and refresh the screen because I think something just got on. Sorry. I really appreciate everybody staying. I didn't, it didn't cross my, didn't realize at all. It has been a little while. Okay, my lovelies. 25 more minutes. We will, not a break. Five minutes of time. <laughs> <I was> just, <laughs> <laughs> For a moment, I was like, okay, this is the first. This has not happened before. <laughs> 25 minutes. And I'll carry on. And we're going to keep chatting on the group. And we're going to be chatting tomorrow as well. And we're meeting again on Thursday. Because you can see my lovelies. There's lots going on here. But right now, in five minutes, I will see you.
Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay. Everybody can see the poster. And I'm just requesting, uh, can we have it on the Telegram group as well, please? Thank you. There are three things to the family unit. Mother, father, child. Because what is the formula? Mother plus father equals child. My mother plus my father equals me. Your mother plus your father equals you. you. There are three in this. However, it is not as simple as father and child and mother and child because the dynamic also takes place between father and mother. So there are three patterns and stories that we're looking at here. Between father and child, between mother and child, and between father and mother. So what can happen is that you, as the firstborn, have a wonderful relationship with your father, but your father doesn't have such a great relationship with your mother. When you start having relationships, you could start playing out the mother's part and not have very great relationships. Even though your relationship with your father is great, so you can say, but my relationship is great, so I should be attracting great relationships. Because then there is this third layer to what is happening in the family. Between your siblings, for example, an older sibling, because father, younger sibling, mother, will start playing out the dynamics of both parents as well. Where your older sibling will start behaving more like your father and you will start behaving more like the mother. If your parents have crossed over, your DNA has not crossed over. The DNA is very much here. Then both siblings start playing out the conflict the disharmonies, the love, the baggage, the blessings of the parents as well. Our father's unmet needs, he would have projected onto our mother. We all do, to, with our partners. Our mother's unmet needs would have been projected onto our father. Both people's unmet needs will get projected onto child. Because the maximum number of people calling me for help with their children's education are themselves not very good at how they were in school. They have not done well in school. In the case of one, she said, no, I've done very well. Tell me about your husband. Failed class 10, dropped out of school after that. So what is your fear? That it will happen again. Because the possibility exists. Our fears are valid. Our anger is valid. Our grief is valid. It doesn't mean we have to now live with them. That's all. But it's all valid. And this, right, which is why when, when we have spouses, you will notice that your spouse is also like a parent. Which parent is your spouse? Which parent does your spouse remind you of? Whichever parent your spouse reminds you of, you are now playing the opposite parent. Check for yourself. And somebody had even mentioned, I think it was Praveen, right at the very start, in the list she had written down, she or he had written down, because Praveen can be both a girl's name and a guy's name. She had written down, she says, can see mother and father qualities. And this, right, this mother and father qualities, which are also in you. This is not about you suddenly disengaging and making family a spectator sport. You also have them. You are also doing it. In fact, that's how we know 
what the problem is because we're going through it. Baggage, blessings, burdens. Because every generation expresses more and exhibits louder, we also have it a little more. Remember the plus in the formula? Many parents talk like this. It wasn't so difficult in our time. It was. It was more difficult in your time than it was for your parents' time. But it was more difficult. It's more difficult in our time because it's supposed to be. And that's how we are forced to look at mirrors. And this thing, right, the maths between siblings and spouses based on the maths between the father and mother. This is also fascinating because you learn from your parents' mistakes. I know the things that my father shouldn't have done. I know the things my mother shouldn't have done. So I know that I'm going to be way more mindful about these things in every relationship because you see this dynamic is always playing out, always. Why? Every time I ask a why like this for the question like this, the answer is DNA because DNA. Because this is your training, because this is your Autobot. But if you will take a look, when I take a look at the mistakes or the things I wish my father hadn't done, I mean with my mother, with me also, but with my mother, I know because I'm first born that I have to be very, even though I'm a girl, I have to be very mindful that I do not do this to another, that I do not perpetuate this habit because we will release, we will clear, we will clean, we will shut down the gene, but the gene has to stay shut down. And the only way you can do that is if you're also going to become a habit healer, if you're also going to become a habit transformer, if you're also going to become a habit changer. Otherwise, the gene will open again two months after you finished your course and gotten your certification. That's not what we want. We want this complete. We want this final assimilation and integration within us so that even if there is a scar or a memory, it doesn't bother us at all. Okay. Take me away from here yeah. and bring me to the five tenets of learning and karma. Okay. Now, when we work on DNA, everybody in your lineage is going to be impacted but everybody in your lineage is not going to be impacted the same way. They will be impacted as per their karma. None of this is about us playing God. None of this is about us being superior. None of this is about us trying to get what we want because that is not what healing is. This is about us doctoring, nursing, repairing, healing the wound in the family because we're bleeding. You're here, right? Because you're bleeding. You're here because your family is hurt. You. Even though they've done it with Autobot, but you also will continue to do it on Autobot because just as what was going on between the father and child, mother and child, mother and father, is going on in our bodies. That we will pay attention to on Thursday. But right now, the five tenets of karma. First of all, unlearning. What is an unlearning? You don't know what you don't know. But you first have to know what you don't know. How many things did you find out today that you didn't know? How much? I know the answer is not very much. How much ignorance were you able to let go today? Um, a Sorry. decent amount, I would think. And by decent amount, even if it is a small amount, the fact that you are able to let go of that is the starting point, right? So I'm, I'm saying decent amount and I'm, I'm holding that decent amount for everybody. Thank you. Ibu, that's my sister. She's always in my corner. Thank you, Neil. Thank you for saying that. But the point is this, my lovelies. Michael Phelps, 
did not know how to swim. He had to unlearn not knowing how to swim by learning how to swim. Now, there is a space between the thumb and the first. There's quite a bit of space. This is the maximum space. Because between what you don't know, just as you all would have jumped to various conclusions, right? Because you still don't know. You are just learning the letters of the alphabet. You do not assume you now know the language. So much gap. Because unlearning has to continue for a while, even as you are learning. Unlearn, 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 learn. You come to balance. What is balance? Balance is the balance between the, what you've learned and what you are applying. It's all very well to know, you know, I should go for a walk every day, but you don't go for a walk every day. There's no balance. You know it, but you're not doing it. You're not applying it. You are not owning it. It's only here. It is only to make us feel very good about our intellect. That is not a balance. You learn it, you apply it, meaning you practice. What, we, what can you practice? Can you practice tying your shoelace if you don't know how to tie your shoelace? No, right? So first you unlearn not knowing how to tie your shoelace. Then you learn to tie your shoelace. Then you practice tying your shoelace. Then you practice some more. An expression here is when you recognize this. When you enjoy something, you always want to share it. You always want to express it. And of course, the first place you want to express is always within family. How many of y'all came on this call because you thought you could help change, save, transform, or heal a family member? Well, I, I am on for very obvious reasons, but, <laughs> but, be, but beyond that, uh, I think more, I, I, I don't think I was even looking at family. I was just looking at myself. Because, yeah, to start with there, so that's the space. Had I not been, okay, you know what? No, no, that's not true. Even, even if I'm hosting, I am still part of all this. So definitely uh, I wasn't thinking on the, in the terms of which family member will I be. But I was only thinking in terms of what can, I, what can I learn or what can I take away today that's going to help me do a few more things. And then when... I'm able to do that, it'll hopefully reflect outward. I'll just so, digress here for one moment. Who is the one person you want to change the most in the world? Because we all have one person. We just wish they would change. We, we believe that they will change, everything here will get bandaged. This will uh, everything here will do. We all have that one person and chances are it is a family member. For those yeah. of you all, who don't have a family member in mind, please see who this person is and who, which family member does this person remind you of. In the end, it will all come back to family because, what have I said when I say it like this? What is the answer? Because DNA. 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 You cannot be any other way. You cannot attract anybody different. You cannot have anything different. If your DNA has said that it will only be 500 per day, then 500 per day is your cup. And that is why we often find it very difficult to break through the ceilings because they are not just our ceilings. They are our family ceilings. They are DNA ceilings that you can break through. It does happen. Okay. And I do want to say, Nadu, before you... Oh, sorry, please complete this one. I, I, want to, I wanted to share something. I wanted to share something with you and with everyone, of course. You can read this one. This thing, right? So expression. And expression is where you are, you feel, you feel good about sharing. Sometimes we are sharing by the time we are unlearning, which is fine. But around here is when people start noticing that you are good at this. That is that you know, you know, have you seen them swim? You know, my God, she does so well in school. You should see her handwriting. You start getting noted because expression is taking place. And from expression, finally, 
where somebody wants to pay you for your work, where somebody seeks you out to know about your work. And that is the development of your gifts because Michael Phelps, currently my favorite example, because it is an astounding how that man has made it work. He retired at 31, but he came back two years later, won everything. He is the most awarded Olympian. Record after record after record after record. Every day, he spends six hours in the pool. Every day, six hours in the pool, even though his first medal he won at 10 years old. The development of gifts is a non-stop journey, as we can see with iPhone. You keep getting to the next level, to the next level, to the next level. Some things will fall off. I think I think the iPad isn't as, as big a bigger a segment for them anymore, for example. It's still around though. But the iPhone, what are we on? iPhone 100? <laughs> 14, 15. I've lost out. Every year, <laughs> development of gifts. From the thumb, where you don't know what you don't know, which is ignorance, to the development of gifts, which is you know what you know and you're getting to know it better, light. This journey from dark to light will take place with your family, with you, with whatever it is you're dealing with right now. The journey from the dark to the light is what is known as guru. From the guru to the ru, you will become your own guru. You will move from here to here, provided, provided, and only if from the dark to the light, you do the three things in between. And the three things in between have to do with continuing your study, continuing your practice, continuing your application, continuing your learning, continuing your practice, continuing your application. And that is what we are going to be doing Saturday onwards. On Saturday, we will be meeting, same time, same place, but audio call, because I'm gonna put some slides up. And we're going to be doing the first thing, which is a light prayer. The light prayer that we did towards the earlier, towards the beginning of the call, which you're going to know, you're going to know what it is on Thursday. But you're not going to know the six adaptations it has. You know the three words of releasing my mother's, father's, family's dash, but you don't know the 20 adaptations it has. Because you are right now barely starting to unlearn. Learning tak to hum abhi tak ai bhi nahi hai. But Saturday, we will make a start into, into that learning. On Saturday, you will know the light prayer. You will know the six adaptations of the light prayer. You will know how to use it for yourself, your family, the world, whoever you want. Seven days on Telegram, you will get to practice on the group itself after the call. And you will submit on the group itself your own adaptation and understanding of the light prayer. On the seventh day, you will be allowed and you will have permission to share and charge for it. For example, you will be able to charge for seven days of light prayers where every day it will take you barely two, max to five minutes. There is a certain process because it is a sacred procedure. We will light our candles. We will make sure that we are fresh and bathed. We will sit quietly. We will do the prayer and it is done. 
by 17th of June, you will be able to charge for doing those prayers for anybody else. Of course, you will do that for your family anyway, because we do that out of love, right? Although beyond a point, must maintain good balance. Too much doing also is out of balance. Then you won't take time to express and develop your gifts. You won't take time to unlearn and learn. And this, my lovelies, is part of package A. You being able to do this. Oh. Thank you. In package A, starting on Saturday, and in seven days, you are out in the world expressing. Will you not require a development of gifts? You most certainly will. And package A, and when I say based on the Bible, you will see on Thursday how it is based on the Bible. The simplest of the work that we're going to do in becoming a light doctor, because this is the first level. This is almost like kindergarten. This is your basic. You got to have this in place. And this is available for, oh, just by the way, who's coming in? Who's saying yes to this? I don't know if you, I don't know if you can see my video on my hand. I can see your video. I can see your video. How many people are coming along to this? Just say yes, people. Just type the yes and it'll happen. Yeah. Just say yes. And Anjali's raised her hand. I can I can I can say awesome. so, say yes. Awesome. Namrata awesome. says yes. Tracy says yes. Rashmi says yes. Deepi says, super, 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 super. says yes. Sonia, Karan, AM, Shiny, Sureka, Bill, Nishi, Somia. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. Fantastic. But Fantastic. before that, before you tell them how much Nidul, look at the certificate. Yeah, so sweet. We'll get your certificate and you will get your, provided you have submitted your three, your three prayers on the group. You will get your certificate, but that's how simple it is, this particular one. So it's short, it's sweet, it's simple. And of course, because we are together for those seven days, you're also going to be telling us how it's making you feel. You know, in class four, in a maths exam, we were doing fractions. So, so the thing with fractions is you have to simplify them down, right? And after the, after the test was over and a couple of us were speaking and they were discussing the answers and I was like, those weren't my answers. Those weren't my answers. Even that was not my answer and realize that in the two, three step breakdown of a fraction, I had, I had not done the last step. And I was so, I was so sad. Because I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna get zero. And I prayed, I prayed a lot. I must have negotiated also. I won't have ice cream for a day, something else. I must have negotiated some amount, class four. You know, it, it's uh, yeah. nine years old, 10 years old. And the next day, the teacher gave our papers out, gave the results out, and I had 20 on 25. Because, Step and I asked the teacher, said, but I didn't do, said yes. And that's where you lost your mark, but there were marks given for every step. So because you had done every step except the last step, the one point for the last step was deducted. Prayers can work in various ways. There are other prayers I have done. Miracles have happened. Miracles have shown up. And there are prayers where the best news hasn't shown up. A prayer requires that you have the ability to surrender. And in fact, that is part of the prayer as well, where we are able to surrender the result. A prayer is just you expressing 
your love for somebody in your family or friends or somebody who's paid you to do it. It's just you being able to add to their voice that they get what they want. That's all a prayer is. And, and it is only for about $440 and about 52,000 rupees. It includes lifetime replays of both of these calls because these calls are only for limited replay. Today's call and Thursday's call is only for limited replay unless you have taken on another Mystic Lotus package. But you will get these two calls as well. So it's only this much. Now, everybody, of course, you are going to get a special value. But just say yes. And the yeses have already come in. Some more yeses, even with the OG price. <laughs> Fantastic. And let's take a look as to how easy it's going to be for you to show up for this. From almost 440 to 32,000 rupees, it is only 2,401 and USD 33. But wait, 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 wait. Remember what I said? Now, this is just your basic. What you want is what I had said about us doing everything together till the end of August. All five steps are required, my lovelies, for your complete learning. Because karma is about a new habit. How will you have a new habit? Only if you unlearn the Autobots in the family. That's going to take some time. Let's take a look at what we're going to do beyond that seven days and being in the world, being a light prayer practitioner. And which is to be your light family decree practitioner. And look at the amount of stuff that's going on over here. Now, you know, uh, Anirban Das Gupta, another hilarious person on stage. Yes. He said, I go to therapy like I go to the gym only in January. <laughs> <gasps> and we can laugh at it, but my lovelies, you want to take being a practitioner seriously, especially with something that includes family maths, because when you're taking a look at that family maths here and there, it will boggle and toggle your mind. Your eyes are going to roll for a couple of minutes. This, this, but a lot will fall into place. Lots of pennies will drop. This makes so much sense. And you will feel closer to your family. You will understand your family story. In fact, I think by the second round, I had a couple of other people as well, right? Responding on the group. They also need love and acceptance. Unki bhi kai majburiya hongi. Varna chaake koi cheater nahi honga. Varna chaake koi unwell nahi honga. Which is, you see the story. And all of us, my lovelies, we love our stories. In fact, one moment digress from here, but please keep slide on. Why do we love our victim stories so much? Why are we in love with our victim stories? Why are we constantly liking, sharing, subscribing to them at every given opportunity? Because there's it's a drama. For sure. There is a stickiness to drama. But because they are stories and they are our family stories. Your story of loss, rejection and betrayal it is your mother's story. It is your father's story. It is your grandparents' story. It is our story. Your story of war. Your story of rightness and wrongness. Your story of family members cheating you. It is your ancestors' story. It is your generation's story. It is your lineage's story. No story leaves without without the hero who changes the story my lovelies the hero and on all our families we have one golem the narcissist who will control and manipulate do whatever they want to do just to get what they want 
and Gollum being the villain from Lord of the Rings. We have one Thanos, who is the villain from Avengers, who, my way is the right way, is the only way. Thanos' solution to the world's problem was wipe out humanity. Na rahega baans, na bajegi baans. Then everything will start up fresh and it will be a brand new, brand new kind of people. Right? So we all have this. And then we also have that one family member who, if they were honest and aware, and we asked them if they were mad, they would have to say yes. We have all kinds in our family. Who's going to be the hero? And maybe you're already being the hero. But the hero as a light family doctor, it's another kind of hero. So to be this light family decree practitioner is how you're going to change the story. Because you know your villain. There's no shortage of villains in any of our families. And we all know our villains. Did you not know your villain? How many villains do you have in your family? Quite a few, right? All of us, right? If you're very blessed, we have a handful. But not all of us are so blessed. Then we have two handfuls. We know our villains. Let's call in the hero. Let's change the story. How do you change the story? By you changing the habit. Whatever that habit is. When we come to habit work, we will take a look at how that habit is and how that habit is going to change. So my lovelies. Now, two parts to mother and father. Father is a certain energy. Mother is a certain energy. Mother is the energy of new moon, which is day after. Father is the energy of full moon. One is a releasing energy. One is a receiving energy. And all of these have been based on the moon cycle with the mother and father in mind. They've also been based on the retrogrades coming up. Saturn retrograde, we got to do father work. Neptune retrograde, got to do mother work. Mercury retrograde, got to do child work. Mercury and Uranus retrograde coming very quickly one after the other. Both require child work. So it's almost like the universe and 2024 made this package. Look at the amount of calls we have. Five calls. Further advanced light prayer decrees because development of gifts has to be continuous. We will take, we will take a deeper look what's going on with your father's maths in you. Then we will take a look at what's going on with the mother's maths in you. Then we will take a look at what's going on with your child maths. This is the child and children you have been, the young adult you have been, the, the teenager you have been, and also if you have children as well. Then we will take a look at that dynamic too. And all of these calls will include breath work, the 10 second three taps I will give you just before we end our call, because it will ground you back and allow you to set off and enjoy whatever is remaining for tonight and today. Prosperity bath prayers. Oh, there's a set of us who've, who've just done prosperity bath prayers in May and they are absolutely incredible. And prosperity bath prayers are, are prayers you do just before taking a bath. There's something else. Maybe I will give you one on Thursday. Remind me, I will also give you a prosperity bath prayer on Thursday morning so you can do the prosperity bath and then come on the call and tell me how it was. And because this thing with money has become so big in our world, right? Money has become the bandage. Money has become the ointment. Money has become the rest. We will do money work as in we will keep looking at whatever is going on with the money stories on all of these five calls. Whatever other stories also, because these are not money calls, but we will do some money work, which we call moony work, because it's all aligned to the cycle of the moon. We will do some moony work as well. The PDF that you have is a PDF that will have a compilation of all the calls, summary of the calls, and all your practice decrees. 
because you're, you're having 12 weeks of practice. You have five calls, but you have 12 weeks of practicing the decrees. It's good time. It's good time for it to become muscle memory. It is good time to make mistakes and recover from those mistakes because once we are through by the 22nd, 23rd, 26th of August, you are going to have to give me six case studies. You will do them very easily if your practice is in place. You will enjoy the calls. For those of you all, my lovelies, who are not really looking to be practitioners, just come for the calls. Then you don't have to do the case, the case summations. But six case summations out of which two will be for yourself. How it was for you. What happened with your mother? What happened with your father? What happened with your child? And four will be other people that you have helped. And once that is in place, you will be given the certificate that is more than being a family light doctor. And that certificate is you being generational healer, past life transformer, karmic warrior, light worker, because literally my lovelies, we're gonna be working with light. You just experienced it today. There's nothing faster than the speed of light and you experience the speed of light today. Literally, you're going to be a light worker. DNA illuminator, you will see how on Thursday. Anti-saboteur, because your anti-saboteur is the recognition of the Autobot. Who is this? This is my mother, is my father, is my grandmother, whoever it is, I let it go. Who's ever putting this in place, I let them all go. Habit healer, and of course, you will be certified to share and charge, of course, for this. And all of this is available and priced at only 735 USD and 50 and about $54,000. $1,000. Wow. Yes to that. <laughs> yes to that. And 54,000 rupees. Very appropriate, but you pick it up at 15,001 rupees and only 205 US dollars. How cool is that, right? But wait, 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 wait. Now, some of us are going to take to this like fish to water. And those of us who are able to do that, we will be able to and we will want to teach others as well. We will want to train others as well. We will want to share the notes, the PDFs, the decrees with others as well. Meaning, you can become a trainer. There are really no rules to becoming a trainer, except that you have to be confident enough to do it. All the support that you want, including unlimited calls, are available till the end of November. So all you're going to be picking up is the right to be a trainer for this with others. Now, all of this, right? total of eight calls, is the eight calls that will take place by the end of August. From there on, we will go on as a support group till the end of November for those of us who would like to train and teach. If you're in Bombay, I would love to meet you. And we will meet. We will definitely get together. Oh, mwah, mwah, mwah. look at this bowl, look at the certificate. Isn't it amazing? Can you make out the velvetishness on the side of this? It's a richness to it. Richness, right? And movie star, no? You can be a star. And this, you being trained the trainer. Currently, it is like about, yeah, it is about a lakh and 10,000 rupees and about 1500 USD, but you are welcome to it for just US 327 
24,001 rupees. These are the three packages. These are the three certifications that are available. Make your choice. This one will go up on Saturday morning. Saturday is when our, our training training begins, when our practice will begin, beginning with the light prayer. The light prayer and six adaptations where you will learn and you, your first round of practice will begin on the call itself. So Saturday, my lovelies, we begin. And Saturday is when this goes up to 36,001 rupees and 491 USD. So you have time, but don't take too much of it. Time is money. Therefore, money is time. Use yours wisely. And Nidhu, of course, uh, all packages, in all the packages, the VI our VIP members are getting an additional 10% savings. And Correct. So, and all of them would have their codes as well. So very much further savings if you are already on our VIP members list. Anybody who's not on it yet, you can get on it, please. Uh, DM the team and you can get the details on, on that. And that's a quick summary you know, of all the packages, but you've already explained it so well. It is on the group as well. I just want to remind everybody, package you for just 2,401 rupees or $33. Package B for only 15,001 rupees or $205. And package C where you can you become a trainer as well only for 24,001 rupees and 327 in fact, Thank you so much dollars. for putting yes. that in. I forgot to mention. So in September, there are two more trainings that are going to take place with light medicine, with word medicine, two more trainings. And whatever, whatever that offer is for the trainings, for those who are, who are taking on the train, the train of package, you will get a separate super special offer. Well, I don't know what would it will be, but it will definitely be different from what will be put outside. So, so September people, there are two more trainings in September, two more trainings in September. And this is what you were talking about, Nidhu. It all comes down to DNA. So enlightened DNA comes in, DNA. which is also a decree. That is correct. And this thing with enlightened DNA, it's not just terminology. We're going to be working on enlightened DNA on Thursday. We need the light prayer to move on to working on enlightened DNA. So that's what we're going to do then. And I know you have questions, my lovelies. And I also know that you've spent quite some time. I really appreciate all of you, especially if you've been here from the start till now. Our, our story is far from over. Our journey is far from complete. We are just taking a temporary break. We're going to chat on the group tomorrow. We're going to meet on Thursday. Let me give you the 10 second, three tab grounding. First of all, one of the best words for grounding is two words actually. Mindful, mindfuler. Mindful, mindfuler. Mindful, mindfuler. You will feel yourself coming back into the body. You will start feeling settled into the body. You will suddenly have focus and attention on what you are doing. It's absolutely incredible. The other one, which also has to do with how we're going to be changing what's going on within the family, is this. I have many, many thanks unexpressible gratitude to the body of work that Louise Hayes has done. But there is one particular phrase, it's just, it's just, that phrase does something. And that phrase is perfect, whole and complete. Okay. And here's your three divine tap. And just by the way, like every, every work we do, it is all adaptable, which means there are many more adaptations to this. And I'm just giving you the most fundamental basic 
one. Basic mean, starting point. Here it is. Please show me your finger. Thank God. <laughs> you, you, showed, you showed the right <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is just okay. <laughs> three tab, right? Yes. And in fact, uh, I think that's Amol. You're already in the first place. Perfect. Whole. Complete. Try it. Perfect. Whole. Complete. Perfect. You have to say it also, right? Yes, you have to say it. Perfect. Whole. Complete. Thrice. Twice is enough, once is also once. enough. Because you all have spent so much time right now, your eyes, your hands, your ears have all been used. There may not be so much awareness for you to see what's happening, but some sense of relief, some breath, something you would have definitely felt. And it's just absolutely incredible. And when we do the body part, where we do the mother and father body, body on Thursday, I will show you many more variations of how this is used and why this is such a phenomenal grounder. And you also have to tell us about the amazing healing water. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, my lovelies. So you can, you can uh, just decide for yourself if you're going to use a ridged glass or if you're going to use a smooth glass, because we'll do it a little differently uh, with either. So let us say that you are, let me do it with a, what should we do first? Smooth. Should we do it? Smooth, right? Smooth. Okay. Smooth. Let us do smooth. Okay. Take your green. You don't even have to open the cap. What you want is the point of the green. Okay, like green or blue. And what you will do is on the side, you will just trace out a heart. On the opposite side, now I have some, I have a unsmooth area here. So I'll just do it over here. I will do another heart. In between the two hearts, I will do an exclamation mark. Then I will take the spoon, swirl it and twirl it. Have a sip. Tell me how it's tasting. I, I, I myself forgot to keep a spoon, but for some reason, I, I, I have sealed chopsticks with me, so I'm using them. They work. See, you sealed chopsticks, yeah. So. How is the water tasting? How is the texture? How is the temperature? Can you taste something different? It's like the water has a taste now. I must prepare you all, just in case somebody gets a bitter taste. Or even, a, yeah, you can get a bitter, a slightly bitter, uh, bitter or sour taste. Why, why does that happen? Then your gallbladder and liver need a detox. You will, you will have to work with the, not have to, I'm so sorry, but you will need to change your lifestyle and diet immediately. Interesting. So Vishali says little warm and smooth. And now, for the ones who have a ridge, you have a design or you have a ridge, right? It's okay. You just hold the pen slightly away. And you do it. It still works. Now that you know this, do it for your whole family. See how you all are in 24 hours. And on Thursday, before we begin, Remind me to give you the upgrade for it. So there's a lot uh, happening on Thursday in the yeah. morning itself. You have your uh, prosperity bath prayer. 
yeah. then there's a little more uh, hopefully on the uh, family dynamics yes. and now there's, there's more on this there's also the uh, the light prayer yes the details of which the versions of which the adaptations of which will happen only on from saturday with the package okay. and training okay. so thursday is going to be just as action packed and this is just uh, to tell everyone and actually i wish i'd mentioned this before the call it's also on thursday especially i think nidu as normally we do keep some snacks and munchies and enough water yeah. handy because thursday is going to be even more than today and by that i don't necessarily mean time wise but the work just today we've done so much and thursday is supposed to be one step above that as well so come prepared for things to happen for things to move for things to shift for your awareness right from going and the only autobot you will be allowed to be is the one from transformers because they actually transform <laughs> right so <laughs> love it love it love it <laughs> and and uh nido i know that uh we'll be winding up soon and you always have a way that you say bye but i had mentioned earlier while you were saying something when you were talking about the hand and the five stages of completion with so this is what i wanted to say this morning you gave a decree on the group yeah and you told everyone to think yeah. it through and write it three times yeah i don't know about anything else or any other uh, awareness with it but the very crucial awareness so nidu thank you fully supported fully supported fully supported because fully supported is what this call has been thank you with everything that you've just opened up and it's not like this is the first time you're saying things like this you said it differently before you've just bought in this huge like aha 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 like i i could have just done it on back to back so i did think the decree i wrote the decree i said the decree and uh, look what manifested with it this calls awesome. with you and awesome. all these revelations and trust me people revelations absolute revelations all of you had it also as much as i have i know if not more so so yeah i wanted to say thank you for that thank you and i, I would say it for everybody yeah, fully supported fully supported fully supported fully supported fully flowing fully fun fully easy fully learning fully trained hey thank you so much my lovely thank you so much for being here i'm going to see you again and big love big hug namaste from india